Hello Nick, so I'm going to attempt, I think attempt is the right word, to calculate some power outages of one certain Jedi turned Sith within the Star Wars universe using only canon, so that's the six Star Wars movies, the two cartoons used, and books released after the 2012 takeover by Disney, such as this one, which is a book full of, well, stats about the Star Wars universe. Without further ado, I shall begin. So thanks to the people over at XKCD for it's absolutely ages ago calculating the power outage of Yoda, or the maximum power outage we see Yoda do is more accurate, assuming it's the maximum he can do. This happens to be the point where Yoda lifts uh, Luke's X-Wing out of the swamp, and using this as the assumed maximum power outage of Yoda, I'm going to attempt to calculate the power outage of Anakin Skywalker. And I warn you, I have to use the sin of the first movie and the mention of <coughs> midichlorians. Within this book, which is Star Wars graphics, if you cannot read it on the screen, um, there is a lot, a lot of talk of midichlorians. There is in fact a double page spread here devoted to them, telling you all the midichlorian rates of famous Jedi and Sith, including Yoda at 17,700 and Anakin Skywalker 27,700. Interesting side note. Chewbacca has a midichlorian level of 7,000, which means he actually has enough to be a Jedi. The limit for becoming a Jedi is 7,000. Who knows, maybe you'll see him with a lightsaber. Without further ado, here comes the maths. We know Yoda has an outage of 19.2 kilowatts, and we know his midichlorian rate is 17,700. We know Anakin's is 27,700. But what's Anakin's power outage? So, to get to this, we need to divide Yoda's power outage with his midichlorian rate. So we have 19.2 kilowatts over 27,700. This gives us an output of about 1 watt per midichlorian. Now we need to multiply that 1 watt by, you guessed it, Anakin's midichlorian rate to multiply it up. And thus we get to the magical number, which is around 30 kilowatts. 30 kilowatts. Well, what can you do with 30 kilowatts? Over at SKCD, they show that Yoda could power a smart car with 19. So what can 30 do? It can run a family boiler. That's pretty impressive. Wouldn't mind Anakin doing that for me. And there you have it, Nick. The power outage of Anakin. Assuming he can access all his power possible, which we know he can't. Because, you know, he doesn't get the full breadth of his knowledge. Because if he got that, he might actually be able to overthrow Palpatine. Because he'd realise, or more, we'd hope he'd realise, that he's more powerful and therefore should rule. Anyway, that is all. Harry out.